guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out, we got the XM1014. Now I get it, there's a few variations of this, but for a few of you who have this particular model, well, here we go. We're gonna do a quick review of it, right? We do have a few of the other kind of variations of this on the way. Hopefully those show up soon. This is taking about a month to get to us with everything happening in, uh, man, this thing is no joke. So here we go. All right, guys, with all that out of the way, man, all I got to say is this thing is no joke, and it is probably one of the coolest blasters that I've, that I've received so far in a while. Now, we do a lot of different blaster reviews, right? A lot of cool ones, but, you know, a lot of them are kind of all the same. But this bad boy right here, when I saw it a couple months ago, I was like, I got to get it. And again, it took a couple months to get here, but we got it, and it did not disappoint. So we're just going to hop right in. Let's take a look at the box. It's kind of big. I mean, for how large this thing is, the box is kind of big. If we open it up, you can see all the parts, not too bad. Really, it's about three individual, four individual parts. And all of that's gonna be the adjustable buttstock. That's all about it. It does come with its own screwdriver and screws and everything you need to put this thing together. So it shouldn't take you too long. I really had to look at the, uh, the instructions to see what's happening, but it took me about five minutes or so to put together. Now, looking at it, whoo, the only thing I had to kind of compare to this thing is really the Saturn. So let's check that out here. Uh, the rival Saturn is probably about three and a half inches shorter than this. And the rival Saturn for me was, I mean, it felt like a very large blaster. So comparing these two, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of the same, but still, that's about what I thought the best Nerf blaster could be or the foam flinging blaster could be that can compare to this. Now, the weight is surely different. It's about three to one. Uh, this is some heavy metal, some very nice, you know, injected plastic here. It is, it's, <laughs> it is really nice. I have so much to say about this thing. Now, this thing does come along with 20 darts. So if we pull them up, you guys can see it has the, now, I don't want to say these are short length darts. They are, but they are actually a little bit longer than your standard length, which I'll show you here in a second. And it comes with 10 of the suction darts. Both worked perfectly fine for me. I didn't have any complaints about them, but I, yes, I did try the half length darts, which you could see here, they're probably about 25 millimeters shorter than the darts that come with it. So when you are putting these inside your shells, you're just gonna have to push it down a little bit more to get it down to the bottom to really kind of get that oomph out of it. Now, if you didn't push it all the way down, that's fine. You could see here with the shells, I mean, yeah, you just push it down a little bit more than the standard length. And you'll, I'll pull this up here. You guys can see I got about a three to four to five FPS difference when I was shooting the standard half length darts. So take that as you will. You don't have to use the standard length darts that come with this blaster. I said, you know what? I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use my standard length darts that I get and just shove it down a little bit more. Now loading this thing is freaking awesome. Just like a real firearm, you could pull back the slide and yeah, you could shove one right in there, close it up, shoot, or you could push them down in the bottom, like a standard, you know, kind of shotgun. And that is what makes this thing so freaking awesome is just kind of the whole loading mechanism itself. I mean, I could just sit there and load this thing all day. Now, one of the things though with these is these shells are going to go everywhere. When I was shooting this thing and I was shooting it on my uh, garage basement, and, you know, it was, these things were flinging everywhere and I couldn't even find some of them. I'm like, okay, now I got about half. So I have been thinking about 3D printing some of these, but you will notice that on the back of these, there's a kind of like a rubber grommet on the bottom. That of course, I believe is to help with the seal from the pusher as well as the shells to get that kind of maximum FPS. So maybe I'll try, I don't know yet, but maybe I might try to see kind of how those kind of go. But let's take a look at this thing up close. I, you guys got to see this thing, man. The molded plastic is beautiful is absolutely beautiful. The blue with kind of the uh, anodized blue looks great. The kind of fit and finish, it just all goes together <laughs> really, really well. I mean, I think overly well, to be honest, but look at that, just freaking awesome. Now, the rear stock back here, it does have four additional positions, R5 if you consider it all the way collapsed. There's just a simple button you push on the side, and then of course you pull it out or extend it based upon whatever, you know, whatever your personal preference is. I felt as if the first position on the stock was the best feeling for me. Um, I am not gonna snipe anything by any means with this, but I just felt that that was the best position for me. Now, let's get to shooting this thing. We pull it up here. Again, it is pouring outside, guys, so I'm just shooting at my door here. 
now, again, the standard length darts, I got about 68-ish kind of average with the standard length darts that come with it. With the standard short darts that you normally would shoot, I got a little more. I got about 75-ish. And you can see here, I mean, if you listen, you can hear those shells just clanking everywhere. <laughs> Just everywhere. It's kind of crazy, but just listen. You know, 75 FPS isn't too bad. They do have an upgraded spring that you can get for this, which is about 33% harder of a pull for about $9 to $11, which hopefully in turn should put this maybe around 99, 100 FPS, I'm guessing, if it's 33% stronger. And if that is the case, that would be awesome. Even still, 75 FPS isn't too bad. I was hoping that you could maybe like double load darts in here and shoot two at a time or shoot the smaller 50 cow balls, which we will probably do in another video. So there you go, guys. That's me quick shooting this thing. Again, I mean, I have no complaints about this thing. This thing is just a freaking animal and it feels so, so good. Again, loading it is one of my favorites. I always, you know, envision like John Wick, you know, doing those fancy reloads. Um, man, just loading this thing is it's just a dream. I think that's what this thing is all about. Now, there is no slam fire on this. You have to cock it and pull the trigger every single time. But if you wanted to just kind of goof around, you could actually just um, put all the shells in there and just and just load four times in a row, right? And it would kick out the shells four times in a row. If you want to kind of get that you know, action of those things kind of flying out. But again, they are super, super hard to find. Overall, guys, man, this thing rocks. It is... Uh, one of my favorite blasters so far this year. You know, I got a lot of blasters that are sitting here ready to be reviewed. And I knew once I got this, I was like, this is gonna go to the top because man, the feel of this thing, whoo, it just is so, so good. So I don't know guys, uh, you know, this is something that is completely different than a lot of the other blasters that I've, that I've uh, kind of reviewed, but still, nonetheless, it is no joke. I think it is freaking awesome. Let me know what you guys think, or if you have the other different variation versions where it doesn't have a bud, and uh, you know those other variations, I have them, and we are gonna do reviews on them, but I wanna know what you guys think if you guys have this thing. Whew, it is so, so good. Anyways, thanks again, Fox fans.